Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Laura is here and today I have an unboxing and I didn't do an unboxing in so long because I didn't spend my money I guess this year. I didn't purchase too many things, especially in beauty. Um, but yeah, I think I kind of recently got into it again because ever since Corona arrived, you know, everything kind of stopped and I put everything on hold and yeah. So I got a gift card at Ulta for my birthday and I wanted to buy some stuff there for a really long time to try it out and they were on sale so I decided to try and I'm gonna show you exactly what I got and I didn't take anything out of the bag um, so yeah just gonna dig in and show you so first of all -da, you got the honest beauty eyeshadow palette and I noticed you know for honest beauty like some of the products, a um, ton of the products actually are wrapped in package, which I kind of try to avoid. And then at some point they had some lipsticks and they were organic and you know, they kind of keep on switching their products around and I'm really not going to go for it. I try one of their lipsticks and it's great, you know, but I'm try trying to keep my products plastics free now and as you can see this palette. It is just cardboard, paper, cardboard, and the palette, it is cardboard. Uh, and the ingredients are clean, are non-toxic, that's why I went for this. And uh, this was, I think, $20, which I think was really affordable for a palette, especially eyeshadow palette. Yeah, I don't have the pricing here. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to do a full review on this palette and... Yeah, of course it has a plastic feel on it, like any other palette in the market, I guess, which I'm going to recycle. Uh, but yeah, the palette looks like this, and I thought it's the perfect palette for fall, and it was on sale, and it has 10 eyeshadows, and these are perfect for fall. And this is more on the nude, um, nude and some mauve, I see some kind of tiny little purplish side of color, but this is like a just plain palette basic and I think this is perfect for anybody who would like to start in non-toxic beauty with a basic palette this is the best I think but we'll see how it's gonna perform next week when I'm probably gonna review it and yeah this palette I wanted to try for a while and then I have another makeup product and this is juice beauty Fit of Pigments Perfecting Concealer. It was also on sale. And um, I'm loving RMS, the Uncover Concealer. I've been using it for the past few years and I loved it. But I think I'm ready to move on and try more concealers. Even though I heard so many hype concealer on the market, I think I want to try it my own and review it and discover if it's working for me or not. I have really, really dry skin during the winter time, so the RMS undercover, uh, uncover concealer works for me wonders because it's very hydrating and it's creamy and it does what it's supposed to do. So yeah, probably depends on your age and your skin needs what you're gonna use. And yeah, this concealer, uh, it's pricey, but it was also on sale, so I went for it. Just be aware, not all juice uh, beauty is non-toxic it doesn't have 100% non-toxic ingredients the concealer does that's why I went for it and this is in color buff and I you know from the look of it it doesn't look like a buff like a medium color it looks like a light but we'll try it out also next week and we'll see how that works and the last item that I got it's rose hip seed oil from heritage store and this is an organic um, oil and I wanted to try this one out because I was loving the Trilogy Rose Sip Oil for a while. I think I've tried even in the past. I always kind of um, came across a sample and I thought that was so wonderful for my skin and I want to try more but I think the Trilogy one it's so pricey and this one it's more affordable and it's also organic so yeah I said why not let's try something more affordable and hopefully wonderful 
so yeah these were the products that i got in, from ulta let me know if you guys tried any of these products and what's your opinion and i'm really curious if you love it or not but yeah maybe give me a suggestions what's your favorite at ulta and what shall you get what i should add on my wish list and purchase next because i'm really curious what are your favorites um that was my video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more please subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell because you want to know when i'm gonna post next thanks for watching and i'll see you next time